Hey, what's going on guys? If you're afraid of quantum computing breaking all of crypto and everything else, then you might be really interested in the project we're gonna be talking about in this video called the Quan Platform. It is a quantum resistant layer one hybrid blockchain platform, code smart contracts in any language, and it does have a private blockchain as well. I'm gonna do a review in this video, but always keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. They have this chart on their main website page, and they're comparing themselves to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, and Solana, and I think they've given themselves obviously a little bit of bias. Let me know what you think about this. The transaction speeds, they give their private network 97,000 TPS and their public network 1,600 TPS. And that's uh, that competes with, it's better than Polkadot and it competes up there with Solana. They give themselves a decentralization score of three out of three, which I think is kind of silly up there with Bitcoin. I, th I feel like Bitcoin should be in its own category and everything else needs to be like less than that. It is a hybrid blockchain as they show on this graph here, but what, what I thought that meant was it's like partially proof of stake, partially proof of work, but that is not the case. When they say hybrid, they are talking about private and public. You can have either one of those with this network. It is quantum resistant, they say, and none of the other options here are, and it's got a very small market cap in comparison. It is still, I don't know when they put this chart together, but it is around $50 million right now. One of the big benefits is that you can code in any language. I was watching an interview with Johan, and he was saying that JavaScript is the most popular coding language out there for any developers. And you know, Solidity, it's pretty niche. All these different programming languages you have in blockchains aren't really necessarily used anywhere else. So JavaScript allows developers, like millions of them, to start experimenting with blockchain without having to learn a brand new language. I sort of thought the quantum threat was solved. So I'm gonna have to like read up on this, but here they say that it is not solved. And we're gonna get to a little bit more of why that is in a minute, but the quantum threat is very real. Existing chains cannot defend against it. Quan is resistant against it from the ground up. Your future funds are safe. On this quantum resistant security, market problem, quantum computers can break 99% of today's blockchain platforms. This I did not know. IBM's 1,121 qubits quantum computer targeted for 2023 release will be able to break 99% of today's blockchain platforms and cryptocurrencies, including, listen to these, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Ripple, and Polkadot. I haven't gone and verified that this is necessarily true, but I'm gonna be asking around about this. If this is true, this is a major problem that I thought was like 10 years away. And maybe this is why people thought that it's not really a threat right now. So in short, we, the community, trusted these algorithms because incrementing the key size would increase the hardness of breaking it exponentially. So if you have, you know, 12 word seed phrase, maybe make that 24 and 36 and 48, it may, might be harder to crack. But quantum computers will literally tackle this, meaning doubling the key size will only need double the qubits to break. Everything we considered safe so far would be gone for this reason. So if you went from a 12 word seed phrase, for example, to 24, this computer would only need to go from 1,221 bits to 2,442. Quan Platform is using NIST approved primary post-quantum algorithm. On July, on the 5th of July, 2022, NIST announced the first four quantum resistant cryptographic algorithms, which can withstand the attack of quantum computers that could potentially crack the security used to protect privacy in the digital systems we rely on every day. And this isn't just crypto. This is in like governments and all kinds of stuff use cryptography. After six years, three rounds, 82 submissions, the four selected encryption algorithms will become part of NIST's post-quantum cryptographic standard and will play a key role in the next generation of our online cybersecurity, the post-quantum era. And so this is the one that uh, Quan is using. They're using the recommended one, which is called Crystals Dilithium. I'm not sure any of this stuff has really been tested in the real world, so it will be interesting to see how this plays out. A little bit more on the tech here, and then we'll get into the token. Quan Platform is Ethereum EVM compatible. All projects currently running on Ethereum, like DEXs, NFTs, DeFi solutions, can migrate easily to the quantum resistant Quan Platform. And Ethereum is where all the development and liquidity is at, so it's probably good that they're starting this way. Thanks to their proof of randomness consensus algorithm developed by Quan Platform, Validation mining can be done even with a mobile phone or a Raspberry Pi. 
They have four pieces of intellectual property here and parts of the tech that they really focus on. The first one is a methodology that allows any programmer to use any language to create dApps. The second is their algorithm, which will secure quant platform ecosystem members against quantum computer attacks, obviously. They've also got a proof of randomness algorithm that will make the quant public blockchain the greenest blockchain on the market, yet remain decentralized. And they've also got rapid cloud platform deployment, which lets users deploy the Quan private blockchain to major cloud platforms like AWS in less than five minutes. When the token first launched, it was listed on two DEXs, Uniswap and PancakeSwap, and this was in June, 2021. So about two years and four months ago, and they raised $2.8 million in funding. Johan is one of their co-founders and CTO, and he's also an economist. And they've got some pretty good values behind here I thought worth actually mentioning uh, that seem crypto related and not like integrity or like, you know, just the BS stuff that most corporate things have. So build for the future, not the pump. You like that? Human code, human communication, letting builders build, sustainable and high end. The other co-founder and head of cryptography is Andre Abraham. And you can check these people out. They're doxxed. So if you want to go take a look, you can check that out in the docs. The listing price for this token sale was 1.1 pennies, and right now it is at 2.2 pennies. So they are up a 2x, but it's not crazy outlandish, you know? It's not like they got it for, you know, some very fraction, they're still up 100x at this point in the market. And they are actually having a relaunch. If we go back to CoinGecko, you can see that there was, I'll just go to the max, there was this flatline time here in December, in really, I guess you could say from October, and then this weird action here, all the way up until late February of this year. I did ask over in the Telegram if anybody lost money, and they did say no. All the holders were compensated one for one, so that's good. What might you actually need to hold on to this Quan X token for? Where would the demand come from if you're interested in maybe buying it? Developers need it to pay for contract deployment, DAP users need it to pay for executing methods of deployed contracts. I'm just assuming that's doing stuff in crypto that's not just transferring. And then you've got, yeah, you need it if you want to pay a transaction fee when transferring tokens. Validators also need it. And if you want to be a full node, then you need to buy a good amount of it. Right now it's ranked 397 over on CoinGecko and it's got a market cap of 50 million and fully diluted of 72 million. So the circulating supply is about two thirds of the way done in the max supply at this, you know, 3.3 billion roughly. I did ask for the emission schedule over in the Telegram as well, and they said that their new tokenomics are going to be released soon. Considering it relaunched in February, 2023, I would be interested to see what the new tokenomics are gonna be and what the emission schedule currently looks like. This is the first project that I've really looked at that claims to be quantum resistant and that everything else is sort of broken. I thought that all the other chains said they had a solution for this, but they just, quantum computing is so far away that they didn't need to worry about implementing it yet. Like Dynex, for example, they claim that they have quantum level speeds right now. So that project could potentially, uh, you know, break the algorithms of Bitcoin and Ethereum and all those if all of this stuff is really true. Let me know what you guys think of this Quan platform. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.